like this. How would we know? I'm just thinking of how the games went. Like, he, he's definitely convinced of something, because something is wrong. And I don't know if he's gonna... Like, I'm not sure either. Like, I've been thinking about the drops or, like, how they play it. Like, and my head is almost exploding. So, yeah, you just have to pick out the right thing. Spain is the best five games in a row now. Yeah. But they really, really tend to do very good job. Yeah, I mean, it's probably too complicated to start thinking about your bounce, honestly. Yeah. You, yeah. you have to think about... The, yeah, the counter picks and then like maybe how you lane. Like they like to pile lane a bit, and it's like you know they usually get off to a decent start, but then things kind of start oh. falling apart. Oh, that's interesting. So we get Axe or Centaur in here now. Mhm. Mm with that Monkey King first phase event. All the carries in the pool. And the, the PL of course is also one of the ones that we saw banned very often. Yeah, so you could like to ban PL just to set up for the hard I think the game is paused right now, actually. <laughs> it is, right? Really? I think the game is paused, yeah. Should probably unpause this game. Yeah, somebody unpause, please. We are Infinite paused. draft time. Yeah, Technical it's like drafting issue. like screaming in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> screaming in China is indeed... Period. I think LGD started this, where the, the coach is like, he just pauses the game and then he has the other set of players. Yeah, like, the yeah, okay. yeah. It's okay, a strategy, is it? Yeah. Okay. You just need to wait a couple more days before that, uh, we can have that. You're good. What do we expect the first pick here? Is out. The X was not very convincing. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what the secret I think about. Axe was actually... Axe, like, he's technically good with a lot of these carries. Like, that's why he's getting a first pick. Also, because he has this amazing laning stage where he cuts creeps. You go for the spank. I like mm. that better because the Axe was really underwhelming. Well, the only reason I like it is... Uh, overall, I'm not a fan of a first pick Tiny. Because I think the hero, like, turns pretty underwhelming very fast. But if you want... The only position I like him as first pick is mid. Because he does well in all the matchups and he can always do stuff. Mid or three? Maybe. Not as good, though. Yeah. But yeah, mid matchups are... Uh, I don't think there's anything really hard counters in the lane. I definitely think Secret should just take this axe right here. Axe and Arc Warden, let's go back to what works. They're still Phantom, they're still full well. So True. the Arc Warden pick is a bit scary. They might just go to Credit Peril though. They haven't lost a single TV game yet. Dire key. This is what they do. They do Say hi the back to your mom. Silence. Oh, Silencer. Uh, okay. PL Pilot. I guess they're thinking like this too. The VP are not going to pick Axe. Yeah, but I now they do it. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm wondering. I just think don't give it to Soul. <laughs> okay. It's a play. Yeah, no, he can he can cut creeps there. Yep. He is good versus Phantom Rouse. Ten seconds remaining. Mid one. <laughs> what you gonna play, brother? Uh, might have to wait a while for that one. That's for sure. Oh, it's a little late for that one. Yep, should have busted it out earlier. You can tell it's game five when so much time is being spent on this pick this early in the draft. Yeah, I don't think they were expecting the silence there. That's no. sure. Yeah. They might just go into Peril Blade if they really want to again. Yeah, at the same time, you know, you get a, you're, you're a little spooked. Because yeah. they did lose that one game where. Like the, the, the PL actually has carried the game, even though it wasn't like it wasn't that good of a PL game. Radiant King's turn to ban. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. The old classic answer. Now, yeah, and now you're setting up for this mid tide. Like the mid tide is way more powerful right now. Yeah, and PL is not nearly as effective now. Flag. This looks like some uh, faceless Dota. It does. Magnus every game. But we, we miss Ogre now. Ogre and Walla. Mm. Ogre, Walla, Magnus, and I'm just pick two carries. Yeah. Magnus Slark all the time. Magnus Slark, and then an Ember mid. Yeah. Well, Magnus TV, of course, was something that kind of started this tournament. Especially, I feel like a lot of Chinese teams very much into that idea. Yeah. That's also why the game, like, the games have just been lasting for so long, and the Magnus TV takes huge advantage. Like, the longer the game goes, the stronger they get. Always tough to play Magnus with Silencer, though. It's one of my... Yeah. Picking it into it is very great. Yeah, I mean, for now, like... They're definitely playing around that power. Like, that's the entire point. Yeah. yeah. I don't even think you should go blink, honestly. I mean, maybe Greaves eventually. for sure. Yeah, just be a teamfight hero. You yeah. can even, like, you can go crazy. You can go Crimson Radiance. Like, uh, 
I wouldn't mind that. You and definitely play Crimson, though, because Crimson is the hard counter to play off. Yeah, and, yeah. Just and then you just can power your Tiny and power yourself and run in there together. Uh, but him. let him global, no one cares. <laughs> just hit him. Alright, there's a Juggernaut ban. We still have a Terrorblade and an Arc Warden in the pool. Mm -hmm. What are good counters, or good counter carries, I should say, to the Phantom Lamp? The thing is, when you have M's power, almost any music carry can actually deal with Phantom Lamp, just fine. It can actually be good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, if we want it, like, I want to, I just want to see PA, because I want to see PA. Yeah, I think PA is amazing. Too. I've been saying it for like three days. Give me that hero. Nobody's giving it to me. A few more picks there, and then we'll see. They're still batting out the Rubik, which, like, the Rubik doesn't really make sense to pick for Secret, but, uh... I mean, they, they I don't know. He, potential RPs too. Yeah, he's had some big plays against RPs. Yeah. yeah. They probably just skip. Okay. Yeah, no, that, exactly. They batted last game, right? And yeah. They just don't feel like anything else to be scared of. What do we not want to see? We don't want to see this. Oh, for VP? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. It's global, yeah, no. That doesn't sound too good. What about Spectre? Okay. Spectre's already in the And Silent's okay. And that's why she got back. It really feels like they're trying to bait up this TB. Or at least, I mean, you know what's on their mind. Yeah, TB's not even bad, but like, if they really want to bait it out, TB with M power can make short work with the Phantom Lancer. If he can catch him. Yeah, if he can catch him. But the good thing about Magic is, like, all the Phantom Lancers are deployed to be at the same time. Some game five heroes here, baby. Magnus, Earthshaker. Yeah. I think VP would have snatched that if Team Secret didn't pick it up. Yeah. Fourth side there. Although they probably need a, a range position for to lane with the Magnus, don't they? At least it tends to do a lot better. I mean, they could also just do Magnus Tiny. Yeah. And then power the Tiny and like bounce around. Yeah. It's alright. I still think the mid Tiny will end up looking real good though. We never really looked bad. At, at, at worst, it's like average. Yeah. No, because for a long time now, if he goes on the PL, like, he's almost gonna die. Yeah. Like, he's gonna, gonna take so much damage. Mid one. In his home country. I mean, we put a lot of emphasis on that mid lane for a reason. We talked about it before the series started. Yeah. He's getting the last Secret is getting to end big again, yeah. He's they're setting him up for success. <laughs> yeah, Roger's really learning how to work for today. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did this guy come from? You know, you give him a Benz and then suddenly he's wearing shades, <laughs> staring down cameras, thinks he's ice, ice, ice. There's still a monkey king in the game. No, they got in first place. Yeah. Never mind. Probably a solo hero here. It's, it's looking tough to drop. Some wyverns. I mean, it's a game five of the finals. Like you, that's when you see these. Like we might see some heroes coming out that we don't expect. Dire teams turn. There was any Thomas draft to save. This might be the time. The VP pull out the Crystal Maiden. Okay. She's pretty good against PL. Like stopping the mass of the illusions. The mana is just really nice for Magnus and Tiny. Too. Yeah. Her, her, her it completely changes for Tiny. Yeah, that's for sure. And a lot of vision too from Nova, definitely underrated in these team fights. Carol Beckham is looking up for Chicken now too. Yep. Something going to jungle really early in the game or the Norris uh, one. Seems that though, one of them like... I mean, they still kind of want this fat guy running in. I don't know if he can afford to pick this. So. There he is. Oh. SAP with the snipe. We've seen that hero band uh, in the first few games of this series. Lane's really well against Tiny and Magnus. Yeah, actually, it's really good right now. Yep, very good. There's still the Weaver. Uh, it's not Donovan's first shaker or silencer, but... Yeah. Like Finally. I mean, what's very obvious, they picked a like, cool hero at the bottom already. Yeah. So, might as well. If you go out, go up the main channel. No one. I'm just wondering. Is he on the tiny or not? Is the question. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The other question is like the Terrorblade versus Necro Lane. 
Like terribly when it pops meta, obviously it does well. But then if it starts getting hard. I think after the after you use the second meta in lane, you just want to go to that more to the Because you're going to be level four ish. I think it's sexy. Yeah. Uh, but right now they can't really kill this necro until TD gets back. Yeah. I, I think heroes could be really good for BP as well. Heroes with a lot of heroes. This is the blink dagger, PL, hates. Yeah. Necro hates you. But of course, Secret is going to have the last pick. They can pick some storm or something. Yeah. Or if they like an invoker, that could be pretty dope too. Yeah. Although invoker doesn't like to play against sounds of PL early on. Like, I mean, Invoker for Secret. Oh, okay. Oh, you're thinking Zeus for Secret. I think he was thinking for VP. Yeah, for VP, yeah. Uh, no one. I mean, I, I think for Secret, it's also really good, though, actually. Maybe for the crowd. Get the wave going. Yeah, that was pretty impressive for one guy on a camera. Yeah, but it I, went, It's actually going. It went both ways. He's very powerful. It's a double wave. Yeah, game five. The game five hype is real. Take out the no one Pugna. Good against the Necropos. Yeah. If you're no one right now, you're sitting in there, it's time to be the hero that you feel like you can win this game on, or do you go for something bigger? Like a more classic no one hero. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Okay. Similar to the Pugna in tone at least, but a little bit more secure later on. Also plays pretty well with some power. I think he's picking the Zeus right now. So Tinker. Yeah, Tinker. I don't know, it feels like they need building damage though. That's well, no, let's see. Tim is so. That's oh, not building that, damage. But that's uh that's hero this game. That's three lanes that don't want to be against the Timber Yep. This Timber is a massive problem. Yeah. Ooh. I think I think Secret is looking real good right now. Saw in terms of laning, I don't really like the whole snowball impact that's coming with it. I feel like VP are gonna hold. I think Virtus Pro are gonna take themselves their first five games. Major. Another major for Virtus Pro says Trent, high like that. Ah, for me, this is a classic mid one here for this. He can run all over the map. He has a decent laning matchup versus the DK. I, I think Secret's got this. He's basically mid one against the world in this game. And I mean, if you heard the crowd, I think they got mid ones back. But the world is good to you know. I think Virtus Pro would love some boosting for you guys as well. You've been loud all tournament. For the last time, Virtus Pro and Team Secret Game 5. Make some noise. Over to the commentators. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game 5 of the Kuala Lumpur Major Grand Finals. Secret versus VP. I'm Odie Pixel. I'm here with Fog and another draft. We're seeing exciting change-ups. We're getting a mid one Timbersaw coming through as the fifth and final pick. And a lot of fantastic team fight and control from the side of BP. Magnus in play, solo Crystal Maiden, everything to watch for and everything to in this game. I can't wait, Bob. We see a split decision from the panel. The crowd obviously favoring sort of the secret picks. They love the mid one Timbersaw. I can't wait to see if this hero could pop off this guy. He's got, but just like they were talking about, he's got great matchups in all three lanes that he can be set up against. And so mid one, there is definitely the opportunity for him to just completely pop off in this game. And I do, I do kind of have to side with Pi here. You know, Trent, he hasn't had a rough prediction yet in this grand final. So sorry, Trent, love you. <laughs> but yeah, well, I think this is. This is a hero where mid one can absolutely thrive. This is where he likes to play, right? He likes being able to just run around. And he just likes killing shit. Let's be honest here. He just likes to kill things. And this is the perfect hero for him to do so. But VP, they've got Remedies on Terrorblade again. We saw what he did in that last game. Let's see if they can do it again. And what an exciting way, really, to end this patch. 7.19. Can Secret destroy the Terror Blade in his final form? They've got ways to do so. They've got some counters here, like we saw. The PL, majority of the times in this tournament, it's gone the team's favor in that one game from Secret earlier today. 
The PL was able to do it. Nisha played incredible, had super amount of farm. They had great ways to control it. And in this game, too, they do have ways to control this Terror Blade. They've got Earthshaker. They've got Timber Saw. Two heroes can be very strong. And even the Necrophos even throw Silencer. If you have BKB in your Manta, sure, you're defended from Global Silence, but you'd have those on cooldown. Global can really be a thing to punish to not allow you to get those Sunders. Also. See if Secret can execute this, and we'll see if Tasha can execute on this Magnus. Let's see the, the last game of this. We had a close start in terms of the lanes. You can see in the middle, no one have a very nice time in terms of getting far on the OD. This time the matchup going to be a little bit harder. Yep. We'll see at least mid one be able to play it very safe. It's unlikely we're going to see this Timber Sword go down, and he can get aggressive onto no one. To the point as well where it's, it's going to sort of be down to who hits that six first. Oh, he can definitely look to get yeah. kill threat. I mean, I, I, I've seen, I think mid one could go for like the three points in the Whirling Death, and if you can get the two stacks of the stat oh, reduction yeah, on the DK, you can go for the kills. And we're also, we can also see Yapsor's rotation being a big factor here. This is the first time that we see Secret deviate from their usual plan, where they run that three heroes aggro, and then just leave Zai sacked. This game, they've got Zai positioned in a place where he can have rotations from Yapsor, give him a successful lane. We have to watch how Zai can do down here versus this Ramses, and immediately we already see Yapsor. He's cutting creep waves, he's manipulating the bottom wave to give Zai a better start in this game. See how much BP can do in, in response to that. You can see Roger sort of heading over with that pull. See how far he wants to chase it and, and try and get at least something from the, the way that the creeps are. And that's him tier 2 tower on Secrets half of the map. Took you punches in on top of it. Looking a lot toward the moon rotations too. Those two minute marks, we will probably see the bottle come out on the timber saw and Yapsor look to secure these runes. If we see another situation where, I mean, mid one gets like an arcane rune into a regen rune or something, that's where he can definitely look for kill threat. No one though, already off to a great start. These first few waves, 10 lasted. Okay. You're not under too much pressure until the levels build up. Like you said, it's usually the level six from the timber saw that you have to watch out for, but mid one is definitely going to look to play aggressive. Yeah, so chasing down Roger here it does have, have a Fisher available. If you want to try to go for some sort of block off, because you'll just sort of follow the movement, getting trapped in. Oh, there's a haste from bottom. Get a too. few punches. Yeah, so he's not got too much mana to play around with still. Continue to try and right click down Roger. Roger, trying to do his best to escape. It's a slap in, the tip coming out from Roger. Roger. He is getting chased back behind the tier two, but they're gonna watch each other. And they're not gonna I die. love it. Oh, he walks in. Yapsor's like, <laughs> I can hear Yapsor kind of like giggling, probably while doing that too. So much respect between the two teams. Love it. Lanisha, puppy, trying to see if they can get on top of Solo. Solo, it's just the mid lane matchup at the moment. Pretty even in farm. Slight ed for edge for no one. 18 yeah, for one doing, against the 15 for two. He's doing great. Having that calling blade always helps you get those extra last tips when you're playing versus uh, Timber Stones, reducing your stats. Also, of course, that breathe fire plus CM aura, something we can't, we can't forget about here. Should have without. With a high regen that he's got from the dragons, but hard for one to truly get some out of the lane at the early levels. Yeah. Like you said, it's, so it's, it's mostly around that level six, depending on like, the rune luck. I'm sure he's going to get aggressive on two of them, Roger. And Ramses. That Morphosis will turn. Right. Start to push side back, but a Fisher comes out. Looks off any sort of aggressive temp attempt from EP. Both side lanes from each side. Want to put the pressure on these carries. The top lane, Shockwave plus CM, Crystal Nova, not in stop. Bam. Tanisha and bottom side, the neck post just oh, thrown out. Oh, oh, constantly. Ramses. Ramses. He's incredibly low side dives. They don't get first blood. They'll lose that. But they'll take that one. Maybe they'll lose Yapsor as well. He's tanking the tower a little bit too much. Roger starting to right now, but the stick charges at the air. Yapsor will back off. They get first blood secret. Roger gets a lot of gold back for that kill, though. Even though it's the first blood that they get on Ramses, Ra Roger actually gets more for the kill. Top lane. Bit of a chase down onto Puppy. Pasha doesn't have a point yet in the skewer, though. So we'll not be able to go any further. Puppy is out and back to safety. Man, Roger got so much force for that kill. Dang it. And now, now Roger, though. Mid There's an arcane rune on mid one. On top of the avalanche. Will slow him down a little bit. He has got the one in timber chain to use to try and close this gap. See if he can do it. He's in. One more should get him in range. If Roger's not too careful with his positioning, can Roger get himself away from this? He cannot. 
Midwalk, rotating away from the middle lane, finds a kiss. And he would get an arcane rune, right? Just that little bit of cooldown reduction for him to get close the gap on top of that tiny. Close to level six. And they're actually looking to pose a threat onto Ramses again here. He gets blocked off by the Fissure. Nice Ramses is gonna run. He is dead. Azai and Yapsor. A second time down here, killing off the Terror Blade. Gives no one the level six in the mid lane because mid lane has spent some time away from it. So that's tower threat, some tower pressure coming out here. They have the glyph immediately though. And then one with, his, with that movement as well himself, not quite having a six. Yep. He's one more creep for it. Needs his soul ring to come out too, but you need to actually use the courier first up for Nisha so he can get that Akila finished up and get it next week. I've seen Yapso around, but uh, Yapso not going to head forward and look to offer up a fisher. Mid a bit low on mana too, Bruce. Top farm wise, Nisha 27 for 8. Pasha though also playing good farm on the top lane magnets. Yep, so making the lot of movement up towards the top. Solo starts to get aggressive. They still forward. They're trying to bring down Pocket. They'll dive forward on the with the shock where they get it. Solo the tries Fisher. to CP out, but yep, so Fisher and Solo the escape from the CM. Basha will be allowed to escape though. Moves a little deeper, TP's away, stunned from the fun, allows no one to pick up the haste room. Mid one goes straight for the TP out. Will he be able to keep himself alive? He does. Heads up play, knows that he cannot outrun or stick around near that DK with the hate. He's straight back to base. Aggressive moves from both sides. He's just still able to find a bit more farmers than that tower blade down bottom since Ramsey's did pun get punished his life in the rotations. But no one having a great time in that, that mid lane going to so much strength, right? The double bracer build we've seen built a lot of times on these strength drifts in the mid lane. Also the belt of strength too on top of that, just so he can tank through all this damage that can come out from a timber saw early on. Actually aggressive oh, here on Zai. Zai Zai falling pretty low. He does still have the ghost shroud to fall back on. Right. Right. A little bit of a bait, but Roger. The he's gonna miss the avalanche, but he gets the toss. It's not enough though. Zai heals back up under the cover of the ghost shroud. Ramsey's the Sunder hits level six and can turn and beat down Yapso. Getting six at just the right time. He's lane mid one. Still a lot of mana to play around with. Will not connect with the Shackram though. We said this man. He's gonna play ground. Look at his skill build. The 4-1-1 on the Timber I love saw. it. That's the way to go against the DK. It can give him that kill opportunity. Can make him fairly squishy though for rotations, but this is the way. I mean, it's mid. Right? We know he's gonna play aggressive. <laughs> oh, he doesn't get the range creep. Close for seven minutes, three to four. Experience yeah. steady and gold produce the same, only five hundred. No one's gonna be each. careful. Yapso can get the fisher block off. Uh oh. No one's gonna take a lot of damage here for the combo. He'll turn with the quick stone from Midbot. Holding back the timber sword for now. Yapso tries to close the gap. The follow-up. Oh, but the enchant tournament of the aftershock, but cannot get on top of no one. So no one will escape. Movements there just enough to allow him to retreat. And just raw HP too, right? Like sure he went strength versus the timber saw, but he's got seventeen hundred health on a Dragon Knight. Seen this build done so many times now on these DKs, especially from no one. Wondering if this could be a game where he does go for the Radiance again since he's versus PL. I say that, he literally instantly queued it up right before. So we saw him do this in one of their games earlier in the tournament, and it worked out great. This is another game where Radiance, good versus Necrophos, good versus PL as well. Ramsey's up, so saw those two deaths down part of and knowing that Zai has the Reaper Cycle online, he's backing away from the bottom lane. We'll go into the jungle, Yapsil. Got eyes on him. Just an efficient move always too, right? Because then you give your support a lane, you let Roger get some farm up too, and you farm just incredibly fast always in the jungle as a terror blade. Japso continuing to flow between middle lane and bottom lane. He's back Roger down has here. to be careful. Roger's starting to try and go a little aggressive onto Zai with the avalanche, but the fish blocks there. Zai, if you can bring him down low enough, he should have the chance to finish him off. Good oh, nice toss, toss away. Very nice toss and the TP out, he's away. What a play. Absolutely fantastic from Roger. Puts him on the opposite side yeah. of the Fissure. Just absolutely perfect there by the Tiny. So, hello? Oh. Tries oh. to st steal some of the creeps there from the low ground. Copy. Bobby quick to chase. We're gonna see Ramsey's turn up though. They'll lose solo. But now Nisha, he doesn't have double gap, but they're confusing him. They're the illusion. He said he's oh, the illusion. He's <laughs> The mind game.
Kings Misha able to outplay VP as they get drawn towards the illusion. Nisha moving in deeper, goes for the TP on the high ground. They don't see him there. Yeah. Ramsey's with a very efficient move. He's like, oh, I'm farming in this area anyway. Oh, look, that's a quick sunder. Very nice. Yes. And it's coming out. DP setting themselves up for the top ones, and Secret will get the bottom two. And getting fortunate with the room placement as well. He heads up towards the top, gets a regen ring. Yapster's having very good farm as he's been held to that blink dagger, so he's actually only going for the one point of the vision. Any aggressive on Roger. Heading behind the tower's eye, still with the Reaper Scythe ready to go. We'll see if Roger can play his way out of this one. It's going to be harder. Mid one's here as well. They've got a lot of burst. Shackman will miss. Doesn't matter though. Roger just gets beaten down by the three of them. Secret make the move towards that tier one tower. 